Hello crafty friends. I haven't made one of these mass make index cards videos with giveaway in a little while so I thought I'd get one done today. I'm going to be making six index cards and watch till the end of the video to see how you could get one. Using a technique I've recently seen on Instagram by Suzanne Rose Art, I'm going to use a stencil and some brushes. I'm also going to add some oxide ink to mine so i'm going to sprinkle the watercolor powders over the stencil i'm also going to then sprinkle some of the oxide inks and then i'm going to spray with water this is all a bit of an experiment but let's see how it turns out before lifting the stencil i'm going to take another index card and press it directly over the one at the bottom once you lift it up you have some beautiful designs and it sort of works in the positive and negative because of the stencil. I'm loving these colors already. One of the things I really love about this type of technique is that you never know what you're going to get until you peel off the stencil or the top index card. And the way the colors mix or depending what colors you use create a really random effect and I love the watery feels near the edges of the designs. You can experiment using more or less water or more or less colors to get different effects. I'm then going to dry them all really well. And the next step is I'm going to add a little bit of gesso with my finger. This is just to lighten certain areas so it's not all just a flat color. Although there's underlying designs, I want to give it a little bit of more of a cohesive look and lighten those two darker cards a little bit more. This step is optional, you don't have to use gesso if you don't want to, or if you don't have. For the cards where the pattern is showing a little bit more, I'm not going to add too much gesso because I don't want to lose the underlying pattern, but I do still feel it needs some. We're then going to dry this gesso really well and then the next step is going to be to add some stamping. Again, this is optional. These steps don't have to be everything that you include in your index card, but I love stamping. And I'm going to use black permanent ink with my vintage script stamp. Again, not stamping everywhere over the entire card, just concentrating it in just a couple of areas. I'm concentrating mainly on the lighter areas of each card. I create these cards with lots of different layers. You can stop at any point in time. You don't have to add as many layers as I do. And what I'm doing now is I'm just bending them a little bit. They have warped, obviously, because we've used water on them. So I just sort of wiggle them a little bit to try and flatten them a little bit more so they can lay flat. So I can splatter some watered down white acrylic paint. I feel this lightens up the entire card and I love using white splatter. I'm also going to use black splatter. This is to create contrast. It's totally okay to use more than one color splatter. Again, I used watered down acrylic paint. Once it's all nice and dry, I'm going to add some tabs. I'm using this white printed vellum. This is available from Topology and I'll put a link in the description box below. I don't really measure or use a cutter to cut this. I just tear it with a ruler and I just estimate with my eye sort of what size I'm going to need. If you want it more precise, obviously you can use a ruler and measure each one to be exactly the same. I'm going to use a sewing machine to stitch all the way around using black thread. I've gone all the way around twice and I've left the end threads just hanging down and loose. If you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to sew it. You could stick the vellum on with double sided tape and you could draw a black line all the way around instead of the stitching. I want to add a focal point to each. I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to put a piece of cheesecloth on each. When I cut the cheesecloth, I do pull it and tug it a little bit to get into the shape I want and also to fray some of the edges. So it's not just a cut piece of cheesecloth. I'm using the cheesecloth. I like that it's transparent enough that you can see the colors from underneath. But if you don't have, you could also use a piece of cardstock or another piece of fabric. 
use whatever you have in your stash. I'm keeping the focal point quite simple. I have these number dies and I've die cut some black card stock. So each card is going to get just a number. But of course you can use any kind of focal point you want that suits your project. Now I've made six of these cards. If you would like to get one as a happy mail from me, just comment below. And on Friday, the 7th of July, 2023, I will pick six random comments and you will receive one of these cards as a happy mail. Just a note, I cannot contact you to let you know that you have been chosen. So please look back on the Friday the 7th of July, back to the description box of this video. And at the top of the description box, I will have the six names of the people that will be receiving this happy mail. And then I will need you to please email me at shanuki at hotmail.com so you can give me your address where I can post your index card. Important note, I will not comment on anybody's comment giving you any kind of link to click. There are scammers out there who hook themselves onto people's giveaways and try and scam people by making them click on links and asking for money. I will not do that. The names will appear in the description box and you will have to email me directly your details. Back to the cards, while I was talking about the giveaway, I added some matching colored turquoise thread. I just bunched it up under each number to add some dimension and I have glued all these focal points down with clear craft glue. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you were inspired to create your own. I would love if you subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Don't forget to comment below and then Click back here on the 7th of July 2023 to see if you're going to get a happy mail. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy creating and I'll see you again soon. Bye.